Hello and welcome to Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. My name is Jason Newland. This is going to be a a short relaxation technique. Now you can listen I'll scratch my ear. You can listen to all of my recordings advert free at my website www.jasonnewland.com uh, every recording pretty much that I've got available is on there so there's 15 1800 something like that and I'm all in categories so I hope you're well and if you've listened to me before, you'll know that the short techniques are usually something that you can do on your own, and they're pretty simple. I only do simple things. Uh, so only listen when you can safely close your eyes, uh, and that's, that's the same for any of my recordings. So what we're going to do, I want you to close your eyes anyway. So an ideal situation, you could do this without closing your eyes, but I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And it is a short technique, but at the same time, you may find it easier to do it at home or when you're able to sit on a chair and close your eyes and not be disturbed. Make sure the chair supports your body in the event of you falling asleep, which shouldn't happen because this is not a sleep session. But just, you know, you've got to protect yourself. Keep yourself safe. And what we're going to do, I want you first of all to gauge your stress level. So... 1 to 10, 1 being nothing, 10 being, you know, the highest it could be. So I'd like you to gauge your stress level and mark it out of 10. Just keep a, keep that as a record in your mind. I haven't got to think about that anymore until the end and you'll do another mark and to compare to see how it's changed for the better so now I want you to do what I want you to do now is to focus on that stress focus on it and I want you to look for it because in, in for yourself it might be an overall thing it might be a feeling that you have it, it could be a fear, it could be worry, you, you could have lots of different names that you would give that stress level. It could be something you're concerned about, it could be something that you're upset that has happened, you know. So, whatever it is, I want you to look for the feeling, not for the memory. Not for the words, not for the things you're saying to yourself, but just for the physical feeling. Where is it in your body? Because generally we can find it in our body, it might be in your chest, your stomach, it might be in your hand, it might be in your head, your eye your jaw, just notice where you feel it most, where you feel that stress. And zero in on it. And as you zero in on that stress, I'd like you to imagine drawing an outline of it 
almost as if it was an island on a map. And you're just drawing a line around it, an outline, so that you know that that's the only area that you need to be focusing on. And the rest of your body is completely separate. It's just that area that you're focusing on. And as you magnify, magnify that area in your mind, notice where it is now within that area. Because as that area seems larger, because you've magnified it, maybe you notice it's in a specific part. And maybe it's a certain shape. And you can then outline that portion of your body. Just outline it in your mind, knowing that you don't need to focus on any other parts other than just what's within that outline, that new outline. And then you can magnify again, going even further into this area that you have outlined. And look for it again. This stress... Look for it again. Notice where it is, this feeling. And as you magnify even further, you can feel it. And you can see it. You can see maybe an outline of it. The shape. So again, draw an outline around that particular feeling. Draw an outline around that so now you realize that anything outside of that outline is no longer required for your attention. Just within the outline. That's all you need to focus on. Everything else is relaxed. So as you focus even more, magnify again into that outline. And you can take your time, there's no hurry. You can just allow that shape to come again. Might be a different shape this time. But that feeling, the feeling of stress within that outline as you magnify it, you start to realize that as it starts to form, you can outline that one as well. magnifying it knowing that you don't need to focus on anything outside of that outline just within that outline and every time you magnify the area the stress moves but it doesn't move out of that area because you've outlined it so it stays within the area it's almost like it's trying to form a new island, you know, a little bit of land where it can live. Because everything within that outline seems to be almost like the ocean. And then it forms a little bit of land. And that's the stress. That's the remainder. And you can outline it as you did before the other times, outlining that area and then magnifying again, knowing that you don't need to focus on anything else other than what's within that outline. Everything outside is just relaxation. And as you focus inside, again, it seems to turn into an ocean as you focus in and every time the land kind of starts a little bit a little island appears maybe a different shape maybe the same shape but it's smaller 
not only is it smaller within that magnified area of course it's so much smaller compared to before because you've been magnifying continuously but what's happening now is although it forms it's almost half-hearted it's there but it's just it's just a bit rubbish <laughs> it's a, it's not a very good bit of land it's almost not even trying anymore so you can outline that again knowing that everything outside of that outline is relaxation and you can magnify again into that area that you've outlined again it's like the ocean and this time you might think, well, when is the land going to appear? Because you're waiting, because it's happened every other time that you've done this. But it's almost just like a, a rock appears. Just a rock. So you can outline that. You can wait a few seconds to make sure nothing else comes up. It's just a rock. And it might not even be clear. It might be a bit flaky, a bit shaky. Flickering maybe. But you can outline that rock. Outline it knowing that everything outside of that outline is relaxation. Everything inside as you magnify even more into that outline. And then, as you look at that, like an ocean, you wait patiently, but nothing's happening. It's just still water. Still water. Calm. And no land, no rock, nothing is appearing. It's just still water. There's a count from one to five. You can just open your eyes at five. One, two, three, four, five. So with your eyes open, look around. And now just close your eyes and gauge what level you are now on the stress ometer. You know, between 1 and 10. Where are you now? And you can repeat this as often as you choose. And I hope you benefited from this short recording. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.